This AC MotorCAD video is for uh, a tutorial to show how to use different BH curves in the Vika 30 program. The uh, data for the two types is in steel grade one and steel grade two dot text. You can edit those, but oh, what was it? I guess it came up with notepad. Wrong, wrong file. This one. It's got some title stuff here that's preceded with an exclamation point. You can put whatever you want in there. And then come the B, comma, H values. Okay. Now this is the one, the steel grade one from uh, from Xenot's old program. It's been verified. Steel grade two. In the old software is for a rotor, but as it turns out in the old program, it was always using steel grade one anyway, even for the rotor. But it didn't make much difference to performance because saturation curve for the rotor doesn't make too much difference. So you've got to get different pairs in here, pairs of B and H, if. Uh, you want to change the BH curve performance of uh, Vika 30, the new, the newest versions. So those are the two files. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go back to Vika 30 spreadsheet. And I've been playing around with a lot of stuff on, on this spreadsheet, but here's here's a whole bunch of pH curves I got from Field Precision, a company that makes finite element software for magnetics, and it has all of this information available about these different alloys. But it's in the form of B versus mu relative permeability mu r. So all you got to do is take since B equals mu h, you just take mu r times mu sub naught. Got it up over here and put it in this column. Okay, mu sub naught is a names column. Is a name cell. See, its name is mu sub naught. So I can say four pi. Oh, no, that's that's just a constant. That's ten to the minus seventh. But this mu r times mu o. So it's this value ninety nine eleven times mu sub naught times b gives you h. So now what you want. Well, this is amper turn per meter as well. So you got to watch out for this. We want to uh, convert that. I, think I have one over here that's uh, where the heck is it? Come on. Well, whatever you've got for your curve, you can type in. You can type in these values. You know, you know, they came to me with B versus H, but what we need them for in a BH curve is H on the x-axis and Y on the vertical axis. So here's your H, and I just copied this. Just copy this data over to this column, and now I've got uh, I've got data. Uh, I can go I can 
paste in the notepad. Why don't I just do it right here like this? There we go. I think that'll work. Uh, I'm going to replace the tabs and do it in Notepad. Well, get out of here. I want Notepad back. There it is. I'm going to put commas in here just to be safe. fingers. This is just to get you by, Shalash, because I could obviously have a button do all this automatically, but that's going to take longer. That's interesting. We got two at the same point. I would have thought that would cause a problem. Guess it works with duplicates, okay. Put that into this, we don't need that. Where was the duplicate? Was this in there? Ten and a half. Is this kilo lines per square inch here? This is Page, the X side has to be and for turns per inch. Okay, so now I'm going to go and I'm going to rename that for fun. <laughs> Excuse me. You're going to be having access to the internet on the cruise ship, right? Shalesh, I think I'm going to cut this short this morning. I'll give you this video. And I will create... Oh, I'm doing a save as. I will create a new version of the spreadsheet that's not going to expire for a while. And as far as English and as far as, I mean, English metric versus, as far as English versus metric, I'll take care of that tomorrow and send it to you. You'll be on your cruise, but you'll get email. So then the other thing was, uh, I can take care of that later too. But this will get you going.
feel great. One dot tech. So this is basically got the same data, but if I wanted to, you know, play with this data and increase the X column or increase the Y column or something, then I could change my VH curve. That's what you want to do. You want to try putting in M36 with a few extra points. Uh, put in M36 with its B versus H points. And try that, for example. Okay, so that's it for VH curves. I suppose I should run it to make sure I didn't mess something up. See now this this doesn't get written out. You gotta write it out yourself using notepad or something like we did. It's not automatic anymore. It's leading to too many mistakes. Yeah, this is still having a sizing problem, too. But you can always do this. Um, let's try running this. Is it the 21st? It is. How about that? Oh, I doubt if it's going to run. All right, let's see. Well, yeah, like a 30 will because there's no expiration on the like a 30. It's all in the spreadsheet. What's going on here? A lot of flickering going on. Okay, runs complete. And now it automatically goes and gets the data that was. Okay, so I'll make a version that doesn't expire uh, right away. I'll give you an extension. And uh, I'll keep giving you extensions. I'm not going to. I'm just doing this because John wants me to do this, this, this uh, expiration date on this because he's afraid the program will get out there and people will be using it without paying for it. So that's why I'm doing it. All right, Flash, have a good trip. I hope I started recording. Yes, I did, thank goodness.